sauteed tomatoes, green peppers, red peppers, and onion. I have my tilapia uh, marinating in my special marinating sauce here that comprises of some onion, leeks, celery, green pepper, red pepper, ginger, garlic, white pepper, and some black pepper. Line up your oven tray with some foil, Put that in there, stick it in the oven. I have my oven there um, preheating for about 350 degrees. We're going to bake the tilapia filet for about 20, uh, 30 minutes. While we're doing that, I will show you how to get your cauliflower into a rice form and then we will saute our tomatoes, peppers, and also slightly saute our cauliflower rice. Let's get cooking. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to get your cauliflower into a rice bowl. So you get your cauliflower head, um, take off all the leaves, cut it into little pieces. Once we do that, we're going to um, throw this in our blender there. You can also use a food processor or another way of getting this done is by using your cheese uh, grater but that is going to be um, very time consuming so the best way to do it is by using your blender or your food uh, processor so we're going to put it in our blender here get some cold water in there And then you crush. Now take it out and drain out your water. You should probably do this over your sink so you don't make a mess. And just drain out the water from the cauliflower. Of course, I have some uh, done already sitting over, over my sink. L let this sit for about 15 to 20 minutes to get most of the moisture out as when you're sauteing your cauliflower, you don't want uh, water in there. So uh, let this water drain out and you're good to go. Let's come back and get started with our saute part of this episode. Now we're starting with the saute. I have my uh, crushed tomatoes there. I have my olive oil, about two tablespoons, warming up here already. I'm going to toss that in there. Okay, I'm going to let that simmer in there for about uh, 20 minutes. While that's going, about uh, five minutes before I take my tilapia out of the oven, I am going to kind of pan fry my uh, cauliflower rice. We are at about 12 minutes into uh, cooking our uh, crushed tomatoes here. I am going to add about two tablespoons of the spices that I used to uh, marinate the fish fillet. Again, I like to keep my theme together so I can uh, taste some of the flavors that are in the fish in my saute as well. We're gonna let that continue to simmer there for another eight minutes or 10 minutes. It's almost time to add our peppers and onion to the tomatoes, but before we do that, we'll go ahead and um, gently pan fry 
our cauliflower rice. This is how it looks like after we've drained out all the water. So we'll go ahead and um, put it in the pan here. We we'll pan fry it for about three to five minutes. Um, the length of time will uh, depend on how you want your texture uh, to be. I like my uh, vegetables to be uh, a little crunchy, so I'm going to uh, make sure that I keep it within that uh, three to um, five uh, minute mark here. I'm going to add a pinch of salt in here for a little flavor, just a pinch. I'm going to add that in there. And then I'm also um, going to add some um, white pepper. Going to uh, bring that together here. And let it cook there for about, like I said, about three to five minutes. Now we'll go ahead and add our onions green peppers and red peppers into the tomatoes so we can conclude the saute part of this episode. Everything is slowly coming together here. We'll let that all simmer there for another two minutes. Then we'll check on our cauliflower rice, check on our filet, and then it will be time for us to plate. Our saute is ready to go, and next is our cauliflower rice. We cooked that for about uh, four to five minutes, and our filet is also out of the oven. This is what our meal looks like. Today we made cauliflower rice served with oven baked tilapia filet and sauteed tomatoes, green peppers, red peppers, and onion. Well folks, it's a wrap for today. Remember, eating healthy does not have to be boring. Bye bye and see you next time. Where them a chat, them a chat bout Well, them a run up and down and them a gossip 